inside the frames like a like a sandwich almost like you're you're getting in between the sandwiches and the the meat and the lettuce you know and the the bread is like the main video and then inside the bread is the sandwiches is like the key frames and then I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying I'm using a sandwich as a reference but <laughs> yeah you know this is what's used for like speed type stuff you know going inside the frames not just the video but frame by frame like flash videos and stuff like that but yeah just letting you know um so we got that part down and um you can just render it if you want I know what it looks like already and we're done with that just wanna scoot this in since that's already done right there and then the main video where I flow in it's like that So you got it. so you get it. It's pretty much to go to tell to flash that out. You know, zero one hundred, zero one hundred, zero one hundred, and like that, and then just reverse it. You know, and then um, if you don't feel like typing it yourself, you can just uh, highlight the first one. You the first uh, flickering we we created. Go to uh, animation. Keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes is automatically going to just reverse it so you won't have to put in all the work on this one. So when you reverse it, just copy it, whatever, and paste it down here. But I just want to show you the numbers so you won't have to do it, you know, over and over again. So we're done with that. You can render it if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I already know what it looks like. What you can do after that, you're going to um, go to the comp. This is comp three. Drag that over here. We're gonna make the the shake, the the quick wiggle effect. Um, what you're gonna do? You're going to do a new layer, no object, and then effect expression. Controls slider control. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring up the P for position, alt click it, and we're gonna type in wiggle parentheses one and then comma use the pick whip, bring it all to the slider. And then shift parentheses, click out of it. Bam. Then you want to parent this to the null object. Simple. See how easy that was? And now we can control the wiggler. It's going to look way better than the, the rough ones that you always see. So. Let's go back to the point in time where we uh, flashed up. I need to find it, uh, like right there. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to pinpoint. Exactly when I flashed up. So let's just say right here, right? We're gonna click the stopwatch for slider. We're gonna um, move up a couple keyframes to the point where he disapp where I disappear. And then we're going to go all the way to the right. And 
Not a lot, but just a little bit. And then... Hold on, let me fix something back here. Because I, I appear too quickly. Let's check out this flash step really quick because I don't see the video moving with the wiggler. I'm going to render it. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't believe it's doing that right now. Well, you don't have to see me do it, but it does it does work, you know. Then the second flash step. Yeah, you can see the black borders is showing, so it worked. But it's, it's wrong because we're on the second flash step. So let's just let me fix this and put it back to zero before I show up. zero then I'm gonna come in right here Click the keyframe for slider. I'm coming in. And then we're going to go to the left. And then go up, go frames, whatever. Then press zero. And then you're done. But to fix those black borders that you see when the, the shake comes to place, make sure you go all the way. All the way. Well, as much as you want. It doesn't matter how much you want, but just make sure you just get that shake in. Go to comp just to fix the, the borders right here. Comp. Or just go to effects this, this thing right here we're gonna go to motion tile and it's gonna mirrorize whatever the uh, the video output width 135 output height 135 and then mirror edges and then fix that problem so yeah that's it. I am Derek from FLCL TV. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really brief and quick. I try to make it as fast as possible. I hope you understand the idea. You know, this is just a tutorial. I can't go really deep into it, but that's pretty much what the Flash Step Sonido is. So, um, if you uh, liked the tutorial, please subscribe. I've got more coming up. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.